Hello, nerdlings. Sup? <laughs> her and her sup. I never know how to, like, start. So, you see the comic boxes, you know what that means? Toys! It's another comic book pickup. I still pick can't get it. <laughs> um, <laughs> and this time, we are hitting up some X-Men stuff. So, uh... X-Men! Question is, is that... So, would this be X-Men and, like, this X-Force? But that's also what Wakanda was... Push on. But maybe if you do, like, this, it's X-Force and this is Wakanda. <laughs> anyway... We're just gonna do this. Let's... That, that's <laughs> X-Factor. Oh. Those weirdos. <laughs> so, let's check out some of the uh, X-Men comics and X-Men related comics that we picked up. Well, we all know I love my Phoenix. I love, well, not so much Jean Grey. More of the Phoenix. But anyway, <laughs> I followed Jean Grey, yada, yada, yada. So, I had to pick up the wedding album. Now, this is not just any it's wedding It's the What If X-Men wedding if. album. Oh. What's going to happen? Are they going to get what? married? Oh my gosh. Now, any particular reason? Just because it was the wedding album? Just because it was the wedding album, and it's basically got everybody on it. You've got, well, it's probably Madeline Pryor, wouldn't you say? Uh, it could be Madeline Pryor, could be Jean. You've got Phoenix, Dark Phoenix on here, and you've got Marvel Girl going on over here, and I'm pretty sure this is just like regular Jean Grey down here. Actually, that looks like Jean with uh, Angel on the front, so... Well, Doesn't it look like angel wings? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. But anyway, there's a lot of fun stuff going on <laughs> in that. And it said wedding album. And I like wedding albums. Well, I picked up an issue... You don't of, have to explain what I want from you, man. ...of X-Men Blue. And uh, I have not started the X-Men Blue series officially. She looks cool. Though. But I picked this up because I guess that's Miss Sinister. And yeah, she looked very neat. Um, I don't know if Miss Sinister is Mr. Sinister, just in a female body. I don't know yet. Could it be one of those alternate universes they like to do where it's the female <laughs> version, but she's, you know. But uh, I still went with this because she just looked really neat. She looked... Uh, she's got everybody know, wrapped she, up. She's very reminiscent of, like, the White Queen from yeah. back in the day. You know, when she would be, like, very stylish, you know, very sexy, but very stylish looking, too. So that's what yeah. I went for. Yep, and speaking of Madeline Pryor, I picked this one up because it is Madeline Pryor, and it's the episode, or episode, I always want to call these episodes, it is the issue where she decides she's going to sacrifice her little son Cable to <laughs> Lord only knows what, because she went cuckoo, because well, Scott uh, was like, screw you, my Jean Grey is back. Of course, I'm sorry, but I think Madeline Pryor was an idiot. I never would have married someone knowing that the only reason he's in love with me is because I look exactly... Like his dead love. Yeah, well, uh, I think you guys are fairly aware already of how we feel about how, why does everyone in the uh, X-Men world want to get with I Cyclops? I, I don't see it. Come on, go with Gambit. So anyway, Gosh. I picked up for a dollar <laughs> X-Force number one. And you know that this is the genuine X-Force because it is a Liefeld original. Because no feet. Look <laughs> Is this the Look one the where smoke. he's got the wrong foot on there? Or is that a different episode uh, issue? I'll let you hunt that one down. <laughs> There's an issue. We've seen it on another YouTube channel. They were showing off that he has the wrong foot on the wrong side. Because Liefeld couldn't go on feet. <laughs> anyway, speaking of the White Queen, I picked up and I... Just picked it up because there was White Queen all over that cover. <laughs> so it was one of those things like, woohoo, White Queen, yep, taking it. So, there you go, Marvel. Because <laughs> I love White Queen. If you ever want to sell an X-Book, just put the White Queen on there. White She's Queen or Phoenix, it. and whew, they're mine. <laughs> <laughs> now, I've got a uh, quick twofer here because... A twofer? There is a Rogue and Gambit series. I believe it's a limited series. Um, mm -hmm. I want to say it's a five-issue one, and it looks like we have numbers one and five. So that's always fun to then go back and try to fill in the gap. Yeah, and Rogue and Gamut are both of our favorites. Um, uh, I fell in love with Rogue. She's my very favorite X-Men, but uh, Phoenix, after she came in to the 
into because I started off with X Men on the car on the '90s cartoon, so Phoenix wasn't there yet. Rogue was there the whole time, so Rogue was my all time favorite, and then Gambit. And then Phoenix came in and was like, oh, sorry, Rogue, I have a new love. <laughs> <laughs> but since we both like Rogue and Gamma so much, yeah. I mean, when we saw these, it was it's kind like of a given. no like, brainer. Like, Duh. So anyway, again, look. <laughs> right More right queen. queen. So, yeah. Now, this one. Um... This is when she actually puts clothes on, isn't it? Yeah, this one's <laughs> where she wears like that. Really still sexy, but more of a pantsuit kind of thing. Not her I think that was uh, the outfit that she started putting on when she started teaching the kids at Generation Yeah, because this one's the one where she's still wearing, walking around in her lingerie. And uh, this one, she's like, hey, I should probably put some clothes on. I'm very curious to know if this is the issue in which uh, I feel like White Queen had something to do with helping Bobby unlock his powers and become much more... Icy. Icy, yeah. Cooler. <laughs> Of a mutant, uh, but yeah, <laughs> no pun intended. After after she was done with him, I guess she made him a man or something because he was able to do a lot more. I don't know. I don't know how it works in the X universe. Uh, <laughs> this was kind of a fun little pickup, though. This was a Toys R Us exclusive, so it was kind of a good idea to go ahead and pick that up. Yeah. And as kind of a companion piece, uh, did anybody ever get the Pizza Hut? X Men comic back. No, but in the you're day. making me hungry. <laughs> um, <laughs> are the cartoons? Though? Isn't it from the '90s cartoon? I don't think no, so. I think no? these are. Okay. I think these are just standalone. But I that's the other thing. Were... Since they're standalone, I'm pretty sure they're probably not canon. Although with so many X books, I don't even know what is it. Is it canon anymore? We but, just have to wait for Disney to, you know, tell oh, us. Oh yeah, <laughs> Disney will go in and just chop half of them out. I'm sure. <laughs> but. Because it was from Pizza Don't Hut us, Disney. and Toys R Us, <laughs> it was kind of a, a neat little novelty to have. I think the Toys R Us was just a, a one shot. Yeah. And, you know, again, White Queen, she's back <laughs> to being slutty. But this is an Age of Apocalypse uh, issue, and I got it more because there's White Queen on the front. So is it Mr. S well, I don't know. That's not Mr. Sinister. Yes. Is that Mr. Sinister? Age of Apocalypse. It's a weird, Mr. like, Sinister. it's very stylized. Like, Yeah, I love the Age of Apocalypse storyline. Uh, the original one. I haven't got to read any of the new stuff. Um, I think that they started putting out stuff during the 10-year anniversary, but I always love the Age of Apocalypse storyline, so anything to do with it, I'm sold. Yeah. Doesn't even have to have the White Queen. <laughs> yeah, it does. Uh, I picked up this one because I just loved the it's cover. It's like a classic movie. Yeah, I've, I've never actually read any Excalibur. I think the few times I have is when there's been like a crossover over event, like the Phalanx Convent, Covenant, whatever it was called. Uh, a lot going on on that cover. But when I saw this cover, I mean, it looks It great. almost looks I exactly like the one of the Evil Dead cover uh, Oh, I'm posters. sure. I'm Everything. sure they they have a uh, template that they use for yeah. stuff like that. But this chick down here looks like uh, is it that Tila from He Man down here? Yeah, she kind of looks like Tila. And then you got a blue chick. I don't know why, but I'm very <laughs> very drawn to blue chicks. I and blue chicks. Nightcrawler is looking way more ripped than he ever did. By the way, I probably I don't know if I've said this before, but it really kind of bugs me in the storylines you go with with Azazel as his dad. It really bugs me that Azazel's red. And Mystique is blue, so he should be purple. He takes after his mama. He should be purple. I'm sorry, but is red and he blue got, big purple? He got his mama's skin <laughs> and his daddy's tail. He's really good with that tail, too. <laughs> the last one that I have here is a... Um, he Tom knows that I uh, have recently started liking the way Blink looks because of, actually, um, Days of Future Past. Um, was my was that the, the movie the movie Days of Future Past um, was my first introduction to Blink and I was like wow she looks kind of neat I like her skin and the her power is really cool she's really good with them so he had gone and recently um, found some comics of the Exiles and it's really Blink heavy and so I started picking up the Exile comics and I thought this one was really neat because it's like almost like a fantasy medieval cover of Everybody from Exiles <laughs> done in a different. They're all like mages and wizards. And yeah, you've definitely got kinda, like the Conan figure. Yeah. <laughs> so I just I just thought this one was really neat because it's it's not their normal like you know they're like warriors and mages and stuff like that. So I just thought it was kind of neat because I've I really started to get into the Exiles and and so yeah, that's why I did that one. And even though it's not an X Men comic. I went ahead and I picked up issue one of Wildcats. I don't actually have any intention of buying any more Wildcats, 
but I wanted to get the first issue because uh, as anyone from the 90s know, this is what Jim Lee left Marvel to go and do. And of course, you know, it's very much got Jim Lee's style in the art. The thing that I never liked about Wildcats was how much of a blatant ripoff, and I'm sorry, Wildcats fans, but it seemed like a blatant ripoff of X-Men. Oh, yeah. And that could have been Jim Lee's part. Uh, it could have been just the way that he was drawing them. But everything like about... like a Deadpool looking guy over Yeah, there. you know, you've got like a kind of a Deadpool Gambit crossover guy. Uh, you know, Zealot, she's very similar to Psylocke, at least the way that he would always draw Psylocke. Mm -hmm. uh, everything that Voodoo would do, <laughs> she was very <laughs> similar to Rogue, like the way that she would this act and be posed in the looks comics. kind of like literally every single X-Men character with... Uh, Scott Summers face. Yes, very much. <laughs> and then of course uh, over here with his shape-shifting hands, every time you see him in the comics, he's like turning his fingers into claws and he's so Wolverine and it's like, come on. And of course, you know, you've got Maul who, I mean, he's more of like a Hulk ripoff, but uh, yeah, I had a friend in school way back in the day and when this came out, I mean, he was, he was a huge Wildcats fan and whenever I would try to point out that it kind of seemed like there was a lot of X-Men influence there. He was not too pleased about that. But uh, they Wildcats was pretty big for a while. They even had a very short-lived cartoon Did series. They? Yeah. I never heard of Wildcats. And a Super Nintendo game. So, I don't know. You guys should let me know whether or not I should pick up any more. Like I said, I got issue one because of Jim Lee. I loved his work in X-Men and Uncanny X-Men. Couldn't he draw feet? Uh, he could. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, they were usually kind of the same feet that you would often see in comics. So, I mean, it was very, you know... Like, generic foot. Yeah. It's like you could hardly tell it was a foot. Those eh. boots. Whatever. But uh, anyway, let me know if I should check out any more Wildcats. Maybe I'm selling myself short here by just picking up the first issue. And... Tell us uh, if you guys are X-Men fans, Exiles yeah. fans, Excalibur fans. If Who's you like Age of Apocalypse. X-Men you know, are you the typical, you like Wolverine, do you like Scott Summers, or are you kind of out there with liking Blink, or, well, I guess Namorita's not really an X-Men, but, uh, you know, because she's on the cover there, <laughs> but I mean, you know, like, who's your favorite X-Men, you know, do you like the White Queen, did you like, was Jean, was she Dark Queen, Black Queen, Black Queen um, at one point, uh, you know, Miss Sinister, Mr. Sinister, you know, who's who? what, what X-Men is your favorite X-Men out there? Let us know in the comments below. Uh, maybe you guys were just a fan of the cartoon and not the comics, or vice versa. Maybe you liked the comics but didn't like the way the cartoon would sometimes yeah. butcher and mash up the storylines. Or you like me, where the cartoon got you into X-Men, <laughs> and now I read the X-Men comics, and it's probably and not a good idea. Both. <laughs> and by the way, real quick, if you guys are a fan of the cartoon... There is a series of comics called X-Men Adventures that uh -huh. we've been picking up. And they are literally just comic adaptations of each episode. Yeah. Like, each issue is that episode. And they're actually a lot yeah, of fun lot to fun. see. Yeah, they're enjoyable. So. Brings back memories. All right, guys. Well, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. Definitely leave some comments down below because we're huge X-Men, Exiles, X-Force, X-Factor, Excalibur. X, 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 X. X. Whoa. Oh. X's and O's. <laughs> but uh, we're huge X-Men fans, so we would definitely love to hear about any more X-Men fans out there. Yes. Uh, consider subscribing if you haven't already, and that notification bell ding, ding, may ding, just ding. let you know whenever we put new videos up. If it does not... You can like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram, follow us on Twitter, and we always try to show you fun pictures and let you know when things all have gone up so that you know in case YouTube didn't or your email didn't or it went to your junk box. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what do you say we open this and start going through X-Men comics and literally find, like, the exact drawing <laughs> and to compare them? <laughs> that'd, be, that'd be a lot of fun. Let's do that. All right, nerdlings. We'll see you next time. Bye, nerdlings. I can make my hands clap one at a time. <laughs>